Ja, biltokig är på Villa de Este Concorso, världens äldsta fortfarande existerande bilutställning. Här är det bara de bästa bilarna. I år så är det M-jubileum med BMWs M-modeller. Sen så är det också Mercedes kompressorbilar, en spännande uppställning. Det är ett helt gängklassiska Ferraris, Aston Martin, Rollsar och sånt där. Men jag fastnar ju som vanligt på vad man kan kalla byggda bilar. Det finns nämligen alltid också här på Villa Deste ett gäng eh, mock-ups eller på säga, men testbilar, provbilar, eh, tittar in i framtiden. Det här, det är inte en testbil eller provbil. Det här är eh, Cameron Glickenhaus Scuderia bil. Den har mer gemensamt med eh, Christian von Königsegg's bilar än med en Ferrari. Eh, för att eh, Glickenhaus, han är en riktig biltok. Han startar egen bilfabrik. Och varför eh, gillar jag den här så mycket? Jo då, den är byggd som en riktig ragga bil. Med skeva smål block lite utvecklad. Och den går så inåt helvete. Okej, så det är en incredibly beautiful car. And since you're building it, I guess it runs as well as it looks. It's an incredible car to drive. You know, it's a road legal version of our GT3 race car that we're racing next weekend at the Nürburgring. And, um, you know, we love making uh, race cars that you can drive on the road. But it's very refined. I mean, this is a development mule, so it's obviously wrapped. It's not painted and, you know, it doesn't have like super luxurious leather on the interior because it's a test mule, but it's cool because it's a three-seater. So from the center of the car, you get incredible visibility. You can have two passengers in the car, but the thing that's the best about it is it handles really well in parking lots and low, you know, tight corners. It has a lifter so you can get over speed bumps. It had no problem driving in here. It has an air conditioning unit that could uh, air condition a minivan so you can sit in traffic at 100 degree uh, Fahrenheit and not overheat. And, uh, you know, all of my experiences with building, designing cars has gone into making this as a road legal example that I'm very proud of. Oh, you should be because well, I met you here a couple of years ago when you were here with the Ferrari that you, that you really saved from oblivion. Uh, and then this car wasn't ready, but you were working on it. Yes. Uh, so what, what, you know, what are the time map if I wanted to order one of these? Um, we have a nice backlog. So if you ordered one today, you'd get it in about a year and a half. And uh, we build to order. But I think it's a very reasonably priced car. You know, it's uh, the stick shift version of it with 650 horsepower is around 500,000 and uh, this car with the paddles and 800 horsepower is around uh, 600,000 but it's uh, it's a car you can drive this in the snow i mean it has uh, esc and abs and it's a full production vehicle and we're very proud of it and, and tell me about now that we're going into the technical side of it uh, tell me about the drivetrain what, what what runs this car um, the drive chain is an engine that we make because uh, we have to certify the air pollution on it it's a 6.4 uh, 6.2 liter supercharged basically it began as a small block Chevy uh, many, many years ago. Uh, it was used in the core. LS, I guess, aluminum. No, 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 LT4. Okay. It's an LT4. Um, but it's a derivation, of course, of the original small block Chevys. But it makes a good 800 horsepower. It goes through a Chima seven-speed gearbox. It has enough clutch in it that you can maneuver back and forth in parking lots without any strum and drang. And uh, we're very happy with it. And, and I know that, I mean, you're, um, you're an industrial man, but you're also a, a, an artist, if you ask me. So I, I guess you don't want to compare with other uh, manufacturers, but being from Sweden, I think of Koenigsegg. And, and uh, I mean, that car would be like 10 times as much with the same 
it's that. So it's incredible how you can make a car at this price point. Look, Christian is an amazing engineer and he makes um, engineering tour de forces. Uh, you know, Horacio Bagani makes uh, really beautiful works of art. But we do something a little different. We make uh, road legal versions of real race cars and cars that, um, you know, do not cost insane amount of money and cars that are really pretty pretty cool and they're all carbon fiber, uh, they have top components in them and uh, we feel that if you can race the 24 hours in Nürburgring and drive home it's uh, probably going to last on the highways for a while. It will. Uh, and uh, where do I find the Glickenhaus uh, plant? Uh, it's in Danbury, Connecticut at the airport. Um, our headquarters is in New York and we have alliances with groups in uh, Italy, Point St. Martin, Italy, uh, Podium Engineering, and in California with Armada Engineering, where we do a lot of our Baja engineering for our Glickenhaus boot that we raced the Baja 1000. Oh, I'm looking forward to see that one. And then it comes down to, to stats. We want to know, 0 to 60? Well, this car is um, really made more like a GT3, so its acceleration is frankly from 60 to 120. It makes enormous uh, downforce. It makes the absolute limit of road legal tires and downforce. It, it, it could not make any more. There's no road legal tire that can take it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing it on Nuremberg. And good yes, luck. next weekend uh, we think we'll do very well. And this car as it is would probably uh, kiss 630 at the uh, Norschleif. So uh, who will drive it? Uh, we are pretty loyal. We have the same drivers we've had. So at the Nürburgring, it will be Thomas Munch, uh, Frank Meyer, Richard Westbrook, and Felipe Lazar. Oh, that's a good line. Well, uh, good luck today and good luck next weekend. Thank you so much.